morning, um, Bardar, welcome. My name is Tammy Barlow and I am a programme lead on our construction and built environment course at Bersham Road. Before I start and give you an insight into our courses here at Bersham, please find the short video. We are Cambria. We were rated excellent by Eston inspectors. We inspire success. We provide learners with work experience, which enables them to have the very best employment opportunities. We are the highest performing college in Wales. We lead the way with our world-class facilities. We partner with top universities to bring degrees to your doorstep. We have raised over £500,000 for charity since 2013. We impact positively on the wider communities we serve. We change thousands of lives every year. We can change yours. Your success starts here. Hello everybody, so as stated before, I am Tammy Barlow. I'm a lecturer with a primary focus on civil engineering. However, I'm also programme lead for our construction and built environment level two and level three. Now here at Bersham, um, we cover a level two, level three, HNC and degree level courses on construction and the built environment. Um, starting at level two, we have excellent links with local schools within the Wrexham area where children will come half a day a week um, and attend an insight into the construction and built environment. That's an excellent lead really onto our level three programme where we do a range so we can either have a one day a week programme or we have a full time course. So starting with the full time course, you will attend um, the construction and built environment three days a week generally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the moment. Um, at the moment, currently as well, one of those is a remote day, and um, that's just in lines with the current COVID guidance. Um, in terms of our level four programmes, we generally do that on a day release basis. So we work very closely with a number of employers in the industry. Um, as well as that, all our tutors are from the industry itself which gives us excellent links um, for apprenticeships. So generally then, so in regards to our level three program initially, it is a level three construction and built environment. And this covers a range of topics. So initially we will look at architecture, surveying, quantity surveying, CAD, which is computer aided design, project management, health and safety, and civil engineering. This is aim of this is to give everybody a little bit of a taster of a bit of everything to do with technical construction. Um, then generally with the level threes, once you've had a bit of a taster of everything, by the end of the two years, you generally know what sort of area you want to go into. This then leads well into apprenticeships. As I stated before, we have excellent links with employers. So you can, we can then hopefully help you obtain an apprenticeship for the long run. Um, but that also, the level three can also set you up for university um, to progress onto your chosen subject. Um, so the topics you're generally be covering then is a mixture of practical and theory. So your practical subjects will generally be your surveying, um, elements of CAD, um, and we've also got a soils and geology lab where we undertake various tests, both on soils and construction materials. And we've got a state-of-the-art lab, and as you can see from the video, we have state-of-the-art facilities across Cambria. Generally then, so you will be supported by a range of excellent tutors. So as discussed, both from level two, three, four and degree, we have a range of industry specialists, really, who come from the industry to teach on these courses. Myself, who is a civil engineer, we've also got um, tutors from the architectural background and mechanical engineering background, which not only gives us the industry knowledge to pass on to you, it also gives us the links with the employers to keep up to date and to keep you informed on the latest technology. It also enables us to incorporate site visits so you can practically see. 
um, and also apprenticeships and employment as well. So in regards to the actual levels of the course then, so at level three, you will be expected to have five GCSEs A to C grade. Now, there is a question that has been asked, if you don't achieve these grades, could you resit both maths and English alongside your full-time course? The answer to this is yes, yes you can. However, this will involve a interview with your tutor to see if that's suitable for you, because obviously doing the course and resitting is an extra workload for you. Um, you will also be sought, supported by ALM, should you have any additional learning needs. Alongside that, we will also support you. So anything you need incorporating in your classroom, we are here to support you and work with you in hopefully what I think you will think is a friendly and supportive math manner. All our tutors are very approachable and we're here for you. We want to see you progress and do well. As well as um, the actual course structure itself, we also have a number of industry standard technologies within Bertram Road, um, from CAD to the Soils and Geology Lab and the use of drones. So there's, we'll get the opportunity to use a number of equipment. Um, the HNC and degree is a progression, um, naturally so for some that have undertaken the BTEC level three, um, but also some people who just come solely to do that. This will generally be more focused because at that level, it's generally a day release program. So you will already be in the industry. So you may choose perhaps a civil engineering route or perhaps a building route. So your building route will cover your things like architecture and quantity surveying. Um, just some standard questions then. So generally when we have these open evenings, we will get a number of questions. So first question, if I don't receive the right GCSE grades, am I able to res resit? The answer to that is absolutely yes, you can. You can do this alongside your course for English and maths. This will generally be decided by an interview with your course tutor. So as I stated before, I am program lead for two and three, and um, it will vary for four and five, but also at four, level four and five, we will also in, consider industry experience as well. So it's always best to ask, even if you haven't got those grades. Okay, second question. Is this course a mix of practical and theory? So this is a question we get asked quite a lot. Um, the answer to that is yes. Whilst there is a significant amount of theory, there is also a significant amount of practical as well. So just some examples of this would be surveying, where you will get to use the latest equipment with highly experienced tutors. And the same with soils and material testing as well, where you will come into the lab and you will undertake practical experiments where you will embark on testing soils. You will also look at standard construction materials and testing those as well. Um, next question, can the college support me with securing an apprenticeship? Again, the answer to that is absolutely yes. One of the really high qualities of this course is the tutors, industry knowledge, experience, and also mainly the links to the industry. This gives us the opportunity to help students progress into apprenticeships. Um, it also helps us to support them because a lot of the tutors have been there themselves. That therefore means we can give an insight, a real insight into what they will be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, um, but also preparing students for job interviews as well. Okay, next question. Are the level three courses full-time? So in answer to this question, yes, it is. It's three days a week, a full-time course. This is currently on a Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. This can vary, but this year we have put the set days as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Obviously, in regards to COVID at the moment, we also have to continually review that. So you may have an element of remote working, but like I say, the guidance is changing daily. So we will keep up with that. Um, what subjects are covered on the course? So there is a range of subjects, particularly at level three. It becomes more focused on HNC and degree, but at level three, you will cover architecture, surveying, quantity surveying, health and safety, mathematics for construction, civil engineering, CAD, project management. And then when you go to the HNC and the degree, it will become more civil engineering or building biased. Next question, do we have exams on level two? 
So where you come on day release from school, yes, you have one exam for level three and level four. It may be a mix dependent upon the course and the relevance. The last question then, will there be an open day? Unfortunately, due to the current situation, there will not be an open day. However, as said, we are all extremely approachable and we're happy to speak to anybody at any time. And we will also be providing a virtual open day this year. So if you just keep an eye on our website, um, you will receive events, you will receive details of when this open day is. Um, so that is the end of my questions. However, if you think of any questions or you would like to talk about anything else, please have a look at our website. You can also contact student services. So your email address for student services is studentservices at cambria.ac.uk. Or alternatively, you can contact us at version and you can use the contact number 0300 And that is all. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.